I, I, look, at times he was a little uh, annoying. Uh, I remember one night <laughs> we were, uh, I believe it was Innsbruck, Austria. And Johnny Grunge was there in the bar with us. Whether it was uh, myself or Johnny Grunge speaking to a girl in the bar, it would just be a matter of time before Sheik would walk up. Hello, miss. Nice to meet you. Adam Sheik, former WWF champion. And he goes into his little bag. He carried around like a, uh, he had an envelope. And he'd pull out. He had his picture of me with your countryman, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Exactly. <laughs> Great friend of the Iron Sheik. And he'd, you know, <laughs> completely try to get himself over and kind of be in a, excuse the language, but a cock blocker. Well, Johnny Grunge, he was fed up, and he came up with this bright idea. He said, Carmine, I got these Xanax, and I'm going to put in that motherfucker's beer, and uh, he won't give us a problem anymore tonight. Well, I saw him put the Xanaxes in the beer. I mean, I saw him do it. And I also saw she fucking just slam the bottle of beer. And I remember sitting there next to Johnny, and we're just, you know, watch this, watch this. There was no effect. There was no effect at all. Nothing. In fact, if we told him what we did, he probably would have enjoyed it. He probably would have asked for like six more. I mean, there's no stopping the Sheik. He's like the Keith Richards of wrestling. After this world is done with and everybody else is gone, there will be a bunch of cockroaches, Keith Richards, and the Iron Sheik. Yes, absolutely. I, I really do. It's unbelievable. His tolerance is just uncanny. One night, we go out to a nightclub. Uh, these two fans invited us out, myself, Sheik, and Coco Beware, just the three of us. Uh, Coco was doing his own thing, and he was uh, talking to girls and dancing with girls on the dance floor and so on. And Sheik and I were sitting together in our own little booth, and they did bottle service. They brought us a bottle of whiskey and uh, like, a, like a two liter of Coke and a bucket full of ice. We're making our drinks and just having a ball. And we run out, of course. You know, we ran through that bottle pretty quick, the two of us. So we bring another bottle, right? And we're just basking in the glory of these, you know, these two guys. These, we thought maybe they own the club or has something to do with it or whatever. They invited us out. Well, <laughs> after the end of the night and a copious amount of alcohol, they bring us a bill. They bring us a bill. And just to see the chic when that happened. Are you trying? They invite us here, and then they insult the Iron Sheik and my manager, and they bring a bill? I, and he was just fired up. And I said, calm down, Sheik, calm down. We'll, we'll work out something. We'll work out something. Uh, you know, well, not a good idea um, when Sheik is fired up to kind of antagonize him more, but a fan went up to Sheik, and he said the words that you, at no time, do you ever want to say these words to the Iron Sheik? But this fan, this Austrian fan, said the words, are you ready? Hulk Hogan is number one. <laughs> and that man had a death wish. Sheik grabbed him by the throat with one hand and lifted him off the ground. The guy was kicking his feet against the wall. He lifted him up, and the kid and the sheik, sheik, come on, come on. You know, like, you know, you don't want to interfere too much because you don't want to, you know, you don't want them to get mad at you. You just want to make sure nothing escalates, you know, from there is the best thing to do. You want to kind of deflate the situation. You know, I was able to get him out of there before the cops were called or anything like that. But, you know, that's kind of like just another night out with the sheik. Another night, <laughs> this was in Vienna. We're in the hotel. I was going to buy some hashish, which is very common there. Difficult to find marijuana, at least at the time. I don't know if it's any different now, but hashish was the drug of the day, I guess, there. I said, Sheik, I'm going to go out and get us some gimmick. Exactly, Papa. Maybe you get maybe, I don't know, get like two gram. Get two gram. Exactly. Beautiful. We smoke little hash. Exactly. Okay, so I'll, I'll get a couple grams in. Okay. All right, Sheik, I'll be right back. Just one minute. Okay. Mr. Carmen, wait, wait. I think maybe, maybe you could maybe four gram. Get four gram. We invite the boys, you know, to the room, smoke a little bit. If you get four gram. Okay, Sheik, I'll, I'll get four grams in. 
Four grams. Exactly. Four grams. Me, Aaron Sheik, we smoke, we have a little bit of medicine, we feel good, then we go out. I said, oh, okay, Sheik, so I'll get four grams. Exactly. Okay, Sheik, well, I'll be back in about, probably about a half hour or so. Okay. One minute. You know, I think maybe, maybe you get, maybe, maybe you get, get eight gram. Eight gram hash, no problem. So, I ended up buying an unbelievable amount of hashish, and this is called oil can hash. It's very, very oily. And the way that you smoke it is you put it on the head of a pin, light it, and put a glass over the top of it, allow the glass to fill up with the smoke, and then you lift up the glass and you take a hit off of it. Well, we had all the boys in the room. I don't want to mention any of them. I don't want to incriminate any of them. But, I mean, everybody was, any, everybody on the show was there. We just smoked all night, drank all night. We cleared out the Sheik's mini bar. We drank every damn thing in there. And he was inviting us to do it. Have beer. No problem. Have whatever you want. No problem. Well, needless to say, this went on for hours and hours. And eventually, everybody left. <laughs> and the only one left was, you guessed it, me and Sheik. We're the only ones left. We had all this hash. Like, what are we going to, how are we going to, we have to get on a plane. Like, what are we going to do with this hash? She goes, in old country, we eat the hash. I go, what? We eat the hash. And yes, I ate oil can hash with the Iron Sheik. Now, it took a little bit. It probably took a good half hour, 45 minutes. But, oh, wow. When that thing kicked in. And this was probably at 6 o'clock in the morning. I remember I said to Sheik, Sheik, I'm going to go to my room and I'm going to get a bottle of vodka that I bought especially for him. I bought it in Warsaw, Poland the night before. I bought a bottle of Polish vodka and I wanted to bring it and share it with the Sheik. So I said, I'll be right back. So I went to my room and I just like passed out. I was out. I passed out in my room. I never made it back to Sheik's room at all. And the next thing I know... There's a knock at the door. I open the door, and it's Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Hacksaw says, come on, we're getting on the bus. What? What What time is it? It was 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock? Yeah. I'm like, holy shit. It's 5 o'clock. I get on the bus. So I threw everything in my bag, you know. Got on the bus. There's Sheik. He's on the bus. Sheik, uh, how you feeling today? Perfect. Exactly. Perfect. 100%. I go, what? Wow, I've never felt worse in my life. That's probably the worst hangover I've ever experienced in my life. And here's Sheik, who come to find out, he didn't sleep. In fact, at 7 o'clock in the morning, he went to the gym. He worked out. (laughs) He had something to eat, and there he is, sitting on the bus. Like, you know, just another night in the life of Khazra Vaziri, of the Iron Sheik. It was unbelievable. I, I managed that match so hungover. I'm, I, I remember standing in the cold shower at the building and drinking coffee, slamming cups of coffee and aspirin and anything I get my hands on to perk me up. And I don't use any extracurricular drugs. I mean, hashish would probably be the hardest thing I'd ever use. Uh, no powder for Carmine. Just doesn't agree with me.